hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is gonna be about the person on your mind. How do they feel about you? So pile number one, you're going to be the white butterfly. Pile number two, you're going to be the pink butterfly. And pile number three, you're going to be the blue butterfly. So again, pile number one, the white butterfly. Pile number two, the pink butterfly. And pile number three, the blue butterfly. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the butterfly that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Belle One, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the white butterfly and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? I heard ruined, ruined. Like maybe they ruined their chance, they ruined something. That's what I heard. Yeah, Four of Cups. They ruined an opportunity with you. They ruined a chance with you. They feel like it's too late. You've turned your back on them. I feel like this person is sad. I feel like depression, like depressed over you, saddened over you, over the loss of you. Yeah, they feel like, like I feel like this person played too much games. They thought that you were gonna run after them or chase them and you didn't do that when like I feel like the last time you guys spoke to each other it was not on like you guys did not leave this conversation on good terms maybe this person told you not to call them anymore or that they didn't want to talk to you anymore and they made it seem like you were gonna chase them because they said that and it didn't turn out that way so the person on your mind how do they feel about you Wow we have the wheel of fortune they feel like you you happen to um, come into this person life unexpectedly and they feel like they were lucky to have you but they played too like yeah I keep getting like they played too many games I heard they were running their mouth or like they were talking like slick or saying things to you talking to you recklessly the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel? Wow, they feel like you're the star. They feel like you're healing. You have a healing vibe, healing energy. You brought a lot of like uh, positive energy into their lives. And I feel like this person, yeah, they play too many games. They're thinking a lot about you with the Six of Cups. They feel like you're a soulmate. That's how they feel about you. Like you're a soulmate. You were divinely, like you guys were divinely guided to each other. That like you're very emotionally stable with the King of Cups. So there's a loving energy that this person feels about you. Like they feel like you're level-headed with the King of Cups and you're emotionally uh, available. Maybe this person is used to 
uh, maybe abusive people or people that are emotionally um, absent or emotionally manipulative. I feel like this person is not, they were not used to your genuine energy and they took you for granted. Like they thought that you were always going to be there or that you were going to tolerate their um, abusive behavior. Cause I feel like this person may have been abusive or reckless with their behavior and maybe they're used to that and they thought that you were going to tolerate that or you were going to go with that or with that behavior like you were going to go back and forth with them because maybe this person is used to that um instability in their life they're used to that type of energy so maybe they thought that you were going to play along too and go back and forth with them argue with them trying to fight them or prove your worth to them but you didn't do that you stood your ground and you walked away whenever like I feel like the last conversation was like I'm done with this person I feel like this is how you felt about them but they on their end they felt like you were gonna come back or this is the pattern with them okay that's what they're used to they're used to chaotic energy and you're not about that life you're more peaceful you're more grounded and this person really thought that I feel like this person maybe thought that you were a joke at a point in time well, now they feel like you're very nurturing with the six of cups and very loving with the king of cups and i feel like this person feels like your feelings were true they were genuine for them that you were not playing games that they were but now they feel like you're cold towards them with the king of swords like you're now you're not available to them anymore you're not taking their crap i feel like some of you this person may have tried to call you multiple times maybe you didn't answer the phone or if you did you hung up in this person's face with the king of swords you let them know that you're not playing you're not like you're serious like you see how the king of swords is serious he has his sword up he's guarded he like yo if you don't come correct don't come at all that's the energy that i have here with the king of swords and that's how this person feels about you like they feel like you're extremely guarded towards them that you're not tolerating their bs with the king of swords i'm getting like they feel hurt because this person really thought that you were going to go play their game. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, Ace of Swords is the truth. Yeah, like, this is like, uh, a bon droit, that's in French, okay. Yeah, this is like straight. You're telling this person straight? I just noticed that. Yeah this is like you're giving this person straight the truth no chaser with the ace of swords the person on your mind okay they feel very attracted to you with the ace of wands i feel like they're if you guys have been intimate with this person they still think about the last time that you guys slept together or been intimate together with the ace of wands um they still crave your energy this person is extremely passionate about you but they feel like you're not interested anymore with the ace of swords you're more um cold towards them or detached okay emotionally detached or just not um really invested you're using your mind with the ace of swords and the king of swords you're making head over heart decisions you're not using your heart anymore with this person maybe before you were in the king of cups energy with them but now you're in the king of swords and this is how they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah they feel like you're their lover their twin flame this person could be a Gemini or you could be the Gemini here. Yeah, this person feels like you guys were meant to be together, but they messed it up. They lost their chance. Yeah, they feel rejected. The three of swords, heartbroken over you. That's why I was getting hurt. This person's hurt. They feel rejected by you. They feel left out. Like they're feeling it now. I feel like initially when you guys cut it off, this person thought that, you know, uh, Problem number one's gonna come back. Like it's always the same thing. Maybe you did you did it for a while, like a back and forth with them. Like you cut them off and you allow them back in, cut them off and allow them back in. But this time around you cut them off and it was for good. It was like you're not playing anymore. And now they're feeling it. They're feeling the loss of you with the three of swords. The person on your mind. How do they feel? Yeah, they feel like it is a burden to have lost you like it's a burden to get back into your good graces or it's a burden to be in communication with you or just to get like 
for you to even acknowledge them because i really feel like some of you you may have blocked this person so every time they try to call you it goes straight to voicemail or if they have to call you they have to call you private so you may already know that it's them calling so you don't even bother answering the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah their ego is bruised with the nine of wands they really feel rejected at one point in time they may have bruised you hurt you with the nine of wands but now the, the table has flipped on them and now they're the one being um that's hurt and we have the judgment here this person misjudged you now they feel like you are judging them or you're passing judgment on them and they feel like the judgment that you're passing on them is very harsh okay with the judgment card like you're you're not playing the judgment that you have is like cutthroat this is what i'm getting here from this person this is how they feel about you like they feel like you're judging them too harshly like you're not giving them a chance to um explain themselves but there's no explanation for bad behavior you're not a child like i don't have to explain to you what you're doing wrong you should know already as an adult okay and i feel like this is how you feel towards this person it's like i'm not your mom to um train you you should know how to treat people from the from the jump so the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow they're having a tower moment because you walked away they feel like they've lost you for good this is how they feel about you. You're the person walking away and they are the one who's sad. Regardless if they are a woman or a man, they are in this woman's position. They are saddened by the loss of you, by you walking away. They know that you've turned your back on them. And they're having a tower moment because they didn't think that this was going to happen. Like, yeah, this person was playing games. Like, what did you expect? The person on your mind, how do they feel? Like... Like I said, this person is used to dysfunction. They're used to chaos. So they thought that you were going to engage in that energy too. That you were not, like you didn't have no self-respect. That you were not going to walk away from a chaotic energy. Just because what, like... Yeah, this person really thought wrong. Yeah, Knight of Wands. They feel like you're exploring other options with the Knight of Wands. You're getting attention. Maybe this person's spying on you so they could see you on social media getting attention. People are like liking your pictures. Some of you have posted beautiful pictures. Maybe you went on vacation and you just came back. And now they're wondering, their mind is wondering if you were with someone else, if you've been intimate with someone else with the Knight of Wands because they're seeing that you're getting a lot of attention. You're back on your grind. You're, you're a little bit more... Um, like I feel like you leveled up ever since the last time that you guys spoke but this person is constantly trying to pull on your energy yeah they feel like it's a challenge with the five of wands that's how they feel about you it's a challenge to get you back there's competition for you they would have to fight for you they have to prove themselves now maybe before they felt like it was easy to um, like get you or to keep you but now it's a challenge because now you leveled up. There's certain things that you're no longer tolerating and they have a pattern of behavior that they're, they keep doing and they thought that this pattern was going to work with you. And they, got a, they were in for a rude awakening with the tower. Yeah, this person is stressing out, guys. Pile number one, you have this person tripping. Uh, eight of swords, they're having anxiety just the thought of you with someone else. They can't sleep at night. They're stressed out. They're mentally, they're having a lot of anguish, mental anguish, anxiety, depression. This person like probably looks at your pictures at night and they're stressing out because they know that you're a great catch. That's how they feel about you. They know that you're a great catch and they know that you're losing something great with the four of cups because they're playing too many games. Yeah. Wow. Now the wheel is in reverse. They don't feel lucky. They feel like they feel like a fool for losing you. With the wheel of fortune in reverse, they feel foolish for letting you go or for playing those games, thinking that you were going to come back. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, they feel like you have options now. Seven of Cups, they have that you have multiple options, that you're exploring their options with the Knight of Wands, that you're doing your thing, that you're not you're no longer interested in them. 
the person on guys i can't make it up ace of swords i can't make it up okay it's the truth this is how this person feels about you they feel like it's done it's over that if they like it would be a miracle if you take them back this is how this person's feeling right now towards you like you're too good for them like you're now you're no longer within their reach the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow they're obsessed with the devil they're obsessively thinking about you they're very drawn to you they're very like the sexual attraction here is heavy i'm getting with the devil and the ace of wands is here as well yeah this person's definitely sexually attracted to you with the devil they're obsessed like this person thinks about you all the time every day all day they can't really concentrate because their mind is on you wow ten of swords they feel entitled to you they feel like you betrayed them by leaving by not like this person like i said they have toxic ways about them with the devil but they also have like draining uh patterns of behavior and like i said this person thought that you were going to tolerate those behaviors because the people before you did tolerate it maybe for a long period of time maybe like their last relationship it could have been like a long relationship but it would have, it was toxic the whole time like back and forth back and forth back and forth arguing you know bickering uh draining energy fighting um betrayal but the person whoever they were with stayed and tolerated that behavior you're not doing that you're like no i need better i want better and i deserve better and you have high standard for yourself and this person is not used to people with high standard the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah they feel like they could have built something with you or that you are a blessing with the ten of uh, pentacles or that they could they felt like they could build a legacy with you build a family because there is a family here with a child a dog yeah but i'm getting like this person feels like they're gonna grow old um by themselves or they will never find someone like you that they lost you for like i'm getting like this person feels like they lost you for good yeah the world is here that it's over that it, the cycle you've completed the cycle with them and you're no longer going back like you've turned your back on them completely yeah they want to apologize with the page of cups but it's only if you're going to take it the person on your mind how do they feel guys i can't make it up three of swords this person is heartbroken over you this is how they feel like it's over they broke your art your heart initially when they were playing their games but you took your power back you took your strength back and moved on and now this person's feeling it yeah six of cups now they're feeling it okay they're feeling nostalgic when they reminisce about you and the good times you guys had but i feel like there was more bad times than good times so you're just like you're over this person like i'm really feel like pile number one you're over them so we're gonna be using the um charmies the initials and um the astro dice to get a little bit more information on this person so the astro dice could be like their sign or your sign their initials um so we have taurus and this is the uh, north, uh, south node. So they could have Taurus and south node or fourth house, Cancer's house. Yeah, this is like somebody, they could be stubborn or you could be, or they feel like you're stubborn. Okay, so the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay. So we have um, M, C, R, uh, N, E, K, V, K, C, X, D, um, I, Y, I, W, S, O, V, J, C, O H C J 
and we have S A E. Okay. So this person feels like you're royalty. That's how they feel about you. Like they feel like now they know your worth, but it's kind of like too late. Okay. They feel like this relationship was heaven sent that you were a gift from above because we have a lot of feathers here. Oh, not, not feathers, so sorry, wings. So they feel like you were sent from above. This person may want to travel towards you. They may want to take you out, um, like maybe a vacation. This person feels like you're a traditional or religious. They feel like you're too smart for them with the owl. You're too wise. You're not going to put up with their BS. They definitely feel like you're one of a kind. Okay. The snowflake. This person feels like they wanted to have a family with you because this is a child, a little boy. Okay. They wanted to have a family with you. They feel like you're delicate, like a flower. You're beautiful. You have a beautiful soul. Yeah. Like soft, like a dove. And they think a lot about you at night. Okay. They dream about you a lot at night. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal, number one. I hope this reading, wow, I can't even speak. Oh my God, you have this person tripping. So that's all I have for you, my pal, number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi Pal2, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So Pal number two, you picked the pink butterfly and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pa or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you, my pal number two? We have the Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like you guys may not be in communication with the Eight of Wands. I feel like they want to come towards you with some sort of communication. It could be like a no contact situation for you, pal number two. I'm getting like a fast action or fast forward movement. They want to come towards you with some, some sort of truth or honesty. So... The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Ooh, they feel like you're very, uh, like a passionate person with the Queen of Wands, very attractive. They are attracted to you. They feel like you're also somebody who is, um, like definitely assertive. You know what you want. You're confident in yourself. You're extremely skilled and talented. They, like I'm getting like, I'm um, getting like this person saying they would be a fool for losing you. That's why they want to come towards you with some sort of action, with some communication, with the eight of wands. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, you see, wow, you guys argued about something with the five of swords is here. Wow, they want to apologize. Yeah, the page of cups, because there was like a fight, an argument, something that was said. Maybe this person rubbed you the wrong way. Something was exposed about them with the sun. This person could be a Leo or you could be the Leo here. This person definitely feels like you are very powerful. You're magnetic. OK, you're optimistic with the sun, but you may be losing hope or maybe losing faith in them. Like you don't trust them like you used to. They have to, I'm getting like, they may have to come clean about something because you argued about something with this person. They feel defeated with the five of swords. Like, I feel like there could have been like a betrayal with the five of swords. They want to apologize. Yeah, they feel like they might be losing you if they don't come forward with the truth or some sort of uh, communication. 
Yeah, this person's ego is bruised with the nine of wands. They feel like they were doing something repetitively on and on and on and they were expecting a different result. The person on your mind, and I feel like it's not an ex. I'm not getting the ex vibe. I'm getting like this is somebody that you were trying to build a connection with. Somebody that you were initially, like you guys initially kicked off very well. But something happened unexpectedly with the five of swords that may have rubbed you the wrong way. And now you guys are in some sort of no contact at the moment or minimal contact. Like if you guys still talk, it's like, um, hi, how are you? And that's it. It's not like you're not going into deep conversation. You guys may not even be talking on the phone, just texting, brief texts here and there. And even if you text this person, I feel like your reply, you may take hours before you reply or even days before you even reply to them. Some of you are not even replying to them at all because of like what happened with the five of swords. There was definitely some sort of conflict. Yeah. They feel left out in the cold. That's how they feel. Five of pentacles, like they're losing you. They feel like your wish fulfillment. Like they definitely put you on a pedestal with the nine of cups. And this is the reason why they don't want to lose you because you have everything that they want in a partner. But they know that what they did was foul or however they reacted or they behaved towards you. They know that it was wrong. That's why they want to come back with an apology. They want to make amends and they want to make this work. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get back into your good graces it's not like i'm really getting like pile number two this is somebody that you're recently been dating you've been seeing and things were hitting off like really right right off the bat but because they said something or did something that rubs you the wrong way um i feel like you guys parted ways for a bit i feel like this happened like maybe the last month like in november october the latest okay like the furthest i feel like not it's not it hasn't been a long long time since this incident happened and obviously i feel like you still want to be with this person you're still interested in them but it's just like that behavior you're not like this is like kind of like a deal breaker for you so this is where you want to draw the line you're setting boundaries with this person and they understand they get it like they know that this was like something that they shouldn't have done and this is why they want to come back with an apology the person on your mind, like they know that you're worthy of respect. Yeah, three of wands are contemplating on how they could come towards you with an apology, how they can make this work, what they need to do in order to rectify the situation between you and them with the three of wands. But they're definitely contemplating on coming back towards you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, they feel like you're a boss, a leader, that you're definitely worth... Um, like the respect you earned it and you deserve it they feel like you're definitely in control of your emotions that's how they feel about you but they also feel drawn to you that they could trust you that you are the truth you're a grounded individual you may have um aries in your chart or this person may be an aries like you stand your ground you're not gonna budge this is how they feel about you but they respect that as well then it's not like something that they have a problem with yeah this person feels like you guys are divine counterparts because the empress is at the bottom of the deck the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you wow we have the four swords four swords it could be putting something to rest they feel like they want to put this situation past, like behind you guys. So th that way you guys could move forward. They definitely want to move forward with this connection. They want to establish something solid with you. They definitely see themselves like being in a long-term relationship with you. They feel like you have all the qualities that they need, but they know that they messed up. I'm really getting an energy that this person acknowledges that their behavior is the reason why you guys are not talking right now or that you guys are distant right now they know that they acknowledge that they're i'm getting like this person's not going to try to gaslight you to make it seem like it was your fault or you did something they know that their behavior is the reason why you guys are not talking and they want to they're they're being proactive as to fix this issue they're not going to try to sweep it under the rug but they definitely want to move past this okay they want to make it up to you yeah this person is going within with the hermit 
they feel like you're extremely wise but i'm also getting with the hermit card this person feels like you are going to ghost them or you're ghosting them or you're emotionally withdrawn from them with the hermit but this person is definitely going within as well to analyze the situation view it from your perspective and not from their perspective they're not trying to act like the victim they're definitely acting like a grown-up here so you're definitely dealing with a woman or a man that knows you know that they messed up and they have to make it up they have to apologize with change behavior and not just with their words this person knows that okay with the hermit they're not stupid and they're not gonna try to insult your intelligence here this is what i'm getting the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you i'm getting like this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity because i saw the four of cups how do they feel about you okay that's too many cards just one please the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah they definitely their feelings for you is genuine with the ace of cups they feel love towards you like they're definitely when it comes to you and their emotions they're they're sure about you like they're, they're sure like there's no wishy-washy in and out or do i want them or do i i don't want them or is it the right person they're sure the person on your mind how do they feel about you they're like they're, their feelings are genuine okay so you don't have to wow the emperor again guys boss that's how they feel about you that you're a boss and they feel like you're a star with the star card i can't really well, let me just go like this so the star they definitely feel like you're a healing you're the truth you're honest with the ace of swords like they want to bring some sort of clarity to this connection as well with the star but they definitely feel like you're healing you're one of a kind you're unique that's how they feel about you they know that they will never meet someone else like you and they don't want to lose this chance they don't want to be a fool and let their ego get in the way this person is not um ego driven they're able to put their ego aside and apologize with their behavior like i said it's not just with their words they're gonna prove it to you that this is never going to happen again the person on your mind how do they feel about you like you're worth the change you're worth the investment you're worth like them putting in the effort they definitely feel like you are a very charming individual with the knight of cups very romantic and they want to romance you as well with the nine of cups the person on your mind yeah they feel like you're a great catch with the ace of pentacles this is how they feel about you we have like three aces all we're missing is the ace of wands but this person definitely puts you on a pedestal they feel like you're a great catch like you're somebody that they could build with they see themselves a future with you and this is why they don't want to mess it up they feel like you were like you guys had a past life connection with the six of cups like they felt naturally drawn to you and this is why they feel like a i'm really getting like idiot for doing that for behaving the way that they behave towards you like they're they know that you're unique because we have the star like you're one of a kind the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind oh we have the queen of swords like they feel like you're a little bit upset with the queen of swords or like you have your guards up to them with the queen of swords like you're not you know tolerating their bs because of like how they behave and they know that so they're not gonna try to make it seem like you have no right to be mad or why are you mad or trying to gaslight to you or make you feel like oh like your feelings are not valid this person is ready for the heat okay they're being prepared mentally prepared for you whatever like however you behave towards them like if you're upset or you're cutthroat they're not going to take um they're not going to take offense to it they're not going to let their ego get in the way because they know that they were in the wrong so your behavior is justifiable it's not like you're going to be disrespectful or anything towards this person but you're going to be stern and you're going to let them know that however they behave you're not going to tolerate that and this person is going to understand they're not going to try to like i said make you look like you're crazy or something because you're setting boundaries the person on your mind how do they feel about you 
Wow, they feel like you're worth the investment. You're worth the effort with the Eight of Pentacles. You're worth working towards like this connection. It's worth it to them. They, they feel like you're worth building with. And they, they feel like you're worth fighting for as well. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Wow, I just saw the two cups. They wanted to come out. Yeah, they feel like you're a little bit guarded towards them. Or that you're keeping them at, uh, keeping them at arm's length with the page of pentacles they also feel like you're um they like you feel like they're breadcrumbing you or they breadcrumbed you in this connection they're worried that you may be um seeing someone else or entertaining someone else yeah they they're worried that it might be too late with the four of cups the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah five of cups they regret it they regret their behavior we have five 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 the number of change they're willing to change they're willing to show you if you give this person a chance like a second chance i don't feel like they're going to waste it they're definitely going to put in the work with the eight of pentacles to prove to you that this is, will never happen again they will never allow you to slip out of their hands and they will never make that mistake again. They're willing to work. Like, I'm really getting like this person feels like you're worth it. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? They're definitely saddened by the their behavior. They're spying on you, page of swords. Yeah, they're keeping tabs on you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Wow, you see, we have what? We have the, the King of Wands. They feel like you guys are a match made in heaven. And they feel like your wish fulfillment. Guys, this person's not gonna go down without a fight, okay? This person's willing to fight for you. They're, they're definitely gonna fight for you. Wow, guys, I cut the deck open. The Empress, the Vine counterpart. This is how this person feels about you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, we have the hermit, okay? They definitely feel like you're a wise person. They also feel like you're prudent or you're cautious with them because of what they did, how they behave. So they know that you're not gonna initially let them in that easily. They're gonna have to work for you. And they're, like I said, they're willing to do that with the aid of pentacles, but they know that they're gonna have to put in the work. It's not gonna be easy to win you over again a second time. Like now they're gonna have to prove that they've learned their lesson and that they're going to come in with change behavior and they're willing to do that with the hermit being here twice yeah they definitely want to work make it work reconcile with the temperance card okay so we're gonna also use the charmies the astro dice and the initials just to get a little bit more confirmation on this person so the person on your mind how do they feel about you? So the astro dice could be like the signs that come out. It could be their sign, your sign, their initials, your initials, and the charmies would be like um, how they feel about you or what they think of you, okay? So the person on your mind, how do they, how do they feel about you? Okay, so they have sun, Sagittarius. They may have Sagittarius um, sun or you may have Sagittarius sun. Or they may have Sagittarius in the fourth house, okay, Cancer's house. So may have Cancer in their chart as well, okay. Okay, so there is one that came out: G, J, F, S, M, S, Z, E, C, S. Well, we have S like. Four times s again c um l x o u p d g i yeah this person feels like they could build something solid with you because we have the anchor here they feel like this connection was divinely guided it was faded that's how they feel about you 
they want to travel with you they may want to take you to paris okay they want to travel with you they want to pamper you they feel like you're delicate like a flower they may want to come in with a gift a bouquet of rose um this person dreams a lot about you a lot because we have another half moon this was a cloud now we have a half moon with the with a crown yeah this person like you make them happy they may like they want to marry you because this is giving me a red uh, wedding band yeah they want to make peace they want to make commands with you yeah this person wants to have a family with you because this is a child they feel like this connection is protected with the hand of um, Hasma or Fatima. Um, we also have an owl. This person is definitely watching you, keep tabs, keeping tabs on you. But they also feel like you're intelligent, extremely wise. Yeah, they want to have a child with you. They feel like you're unique. There's something different about you, like the seahorse. Yeah, unique, different. You're, there's, a, there's a depth to you. You're not shallow. They love that about you. They feel like um, how they feel about you is that you are a queen or a king or deserving of like high respect and honor. Yeah, this person dreams a lot about you. They're on. This is giving me cloud nine energy. Okay, like they feel on cloud nine when they are in your presence. Okay, this is how they feel about you. They feel high. Okay, I heard euphoric. That's how they feel about you. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the blue butterfly. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three. The person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you the person on your mind i heard reckless what we have the queen of wands Ooh. okay very attracted to you but i don't know why i'm getting reckless like i'm not getting like you're reckless i feel like maybe this person's reckless their energy is all over the place the person on your mind how do they feel about you we have the two wands they feel guided towards you they feel like they were meant to be with you or like you were sent to them you came into their life at the right time maybe like they were reckless before they met you or like i feel like there was like yeah queen of wands like there was a reckless energy around them um like you you made this person um basically your energy guided this person on the right path you're a good influence for them because i really feel like this person had a reckless energy they would do things without thinking they would say things without thinking they were impulsive and then you brought like you made them more stable or grounded like you make them feel like they could do anything or they could be anything yeah they're very passionate towards you with the ace of wands there's a lot of attraction there's a lot of passionate energy if you guys have been intimate with this person they think about it all the time they want to be with you all the time they want to be in your energy they're very drawn to you with the ace of wands the queen of wands the two of wands and the queen of wands here this like full fire here this person could be um, an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Yeah, this person feels like you guys are soulmates. This is how they feel about you because the two cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is willing to do whatever it takes to um, make this relationship last. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? 
I feel like you guys are not official. Yeah, you see Wheel of Fortune. They feel like so lucky to have met you. Like I feel like their life was going downhill or they were around the wrong people, bad influence. And you are a positive influence in this person's life with the Wheel of Fortune. More than you know, you're making a difference in this person's life. I feel like there's certain things about them that you may not know. They may have like a rough childhood or a rough past or they may have been in trouble with the law before and they're trying to go down the right path and you're influencing them for, to do that because of the way that you live your life because of the way that you decide to do certain things that you have integrity you do the right thing so this person is influenced by that and they're willing to let go of their bad habits or things that are holding them back in order to be with you they want to they want you to respect them as a person they want to also be a person worthy of respect to you this is how they feel about you we have the magician they feel like you're extremely talented you showed them a different way of living a different way of thinking you opened their mind and their eyes to um, multiple possibilities we have the magician so you could be a Gemini or a Virgo or this person could be a Gemini or a Virgo but you open their mind to different possibilities okay wow guys this person could be a gemini or you're the gemini because we have the lovers here this is how they feel about you that you are their lover the one that was meant to come into their life to make a difference okay they, they definitely feel like they want a jackpot with you or they made a right decision for choosing you they may have had other options or they may have been dating other people before they decided to only deal with you but this person only has their eyes on you they're focusing on you and they know that they have a gift within you like they know that they will never be able to find someone else like you yeah they want to yeah six of pentacles they definitely want to equal give and take to you with you but what i'm getting with the six of pentacles they feel like you're a generous spirit like they've never met somebody so genuine like you I, i'm telling you this person's used to like trauma or chaos or they're used to instability or something or they've been through um like the people that you're used to hanging around with are not really positive role models or positive people to be around like this person may like i said they may have been in trouble with the law maybe never been incarcerated but they may have been in trouble maybe they went to juvie or something like that the person on your mind how do they feel about you but with you they want to do the right thing yeah you see justice i'm telling you this person may have been in trouble with the law but you see with the justice card they feel like you are somebody who has integrity who is diplomatic somebody who is just and fair in your dealings and you are influencing this person to be the same to be just in their dealing to not um do things underneath the veil or do things um that are illegal or anything like that like you make them want to walk the narrow path the straight path ahead to do to choose a different route and not go down the same like do the same thing that they were doing before the person on your mind how do they feel about you they're definitely in love with you because i just saw the ace of cups the person on your mind or they have like a lot of feelings for you wow the ten of pentacles i'm telling you they feel like they've won the jackpot the lottery with you that you're a great catch they want to build something with you but they know that because of the type of person that you are with the queen of wands whether you are a woman or a man you are a person of integrity so you're not going to associate yourself with somebody who doesn't have integrity who does things beneath the veil or who is shady so they know that with the ten of pentacles they know that they have to be somebody of high caliber in order to be with you the person on your mind yeah two cups they definitely feel like you guys are a divine match and you make them better with the two cups you make this person better you make them want to be better you make them want to be the best person that they could be the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Okay, that's way too many cards. 
I'm I'm also getting like this person might be worried that you may judge them based on their past. Because like I said, there's certain things about them that you don't know that they may have not told you. Yeah, we have the high priestess. They feel like you're highly intuitive or that you may already know certain things about them. Maybe I feel like the type of question that you ask them, it's like it's um, it's like there's no way you could have known unless you're highly intuitive or psychic. That's how this person feels about you with the high priestess. Like you know certain things or like there's no way you could have known that unless you're you're a psychic or um, highly intuitive person. OK, yeah, they feel like you guys are a match. The king of wands and we we have the queen of wands. This king of wands look like, you know, he's a player, player. <laughs> the way he's looking, you know. Um, but I'm not getting that vibe. It's just like the, the picture on the card. But they definitely feel like you guys are definitely... Uh, wow, I keep saying you definitely, definitely. Wow. But we have the lovers, the two cups, and we have a pair. Okay? They definitely feel like you guys are a divine counterpart. And I have to stop saying definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? The person on your mind. I feel like I'm getting a peaceful energy. Wow, yeah, you see? The Three of Cups. Joyful. You made them laugh. Like, they always have a good time with you. With the Three of Cups. It's like... They're used to people that are always serious or, you know, always negative or draining, intoxicating, like intoxicated. I said intoxicating, but I'm getting like, intox intoxicated. So people that are always on drugs or drinking or just like, um, I'm getting like a bar type of environment. Like maybe like this person used to hang around bars. Like they've changed their ways before they met you but i feel like they were kind of like drawn to go back and then ever since they met you they like they don't they don't have a reason to go back they don't want to go back you make them feel alive like you make them feel like they could be anything that they put their mind to you give you i'm getting like this person you're kind of like their muse with the ace of wands like you give them hope as well even though the star is not here i'm getting like you you give this person hope like there is good people out there and that they are deserving of love as well that they're not like i feel like this person does not have a bad heart they're not a bad person it's just like they were around the bad people okay bad influence but this person uh, has a heart of gold the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah they feel like you're extremely wise you may be the wisest person they ever met with the hermit card and they like the fact that you like to spend a lot of time alone. You like to read. This is one thing that they appreciate about you, that you like to read or you like to learn with the hermit. You're very, um, like you have great power of observation. They feel like you're courageous or you're honorable with the strength card. This is how this person feels about you. Like you're extremely honorable and you're influential. You definitely have a positive influence in this person's life. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, they feel like you're very loving and nurturing with the Queen of Cups. They've never like, like I'm getting like you, you show this person a different way and they're not used to that. Maybe they were an orphan or maybe this person was abandoned by their parents or their mother or their father. It could be like both or just one parent and they've never experienced the type of love that you give. And that's one thing that he, they were yearning for as a child with the queen of cups and they're getting that from you and they're i feel like this person is a little bit scared of losing you or and i'm getting like maybe scared of their past like you may judge them based on their past it's not like they don't want to come clean about their past it's just like they're afraid that you may not feel the same after learning about what they've been through you see guys i can't make it up the judgment this is what this person is afraid of you judging them like harshly because of what they've been through the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow didn't i say healing with the star didn't i say that i called out the star i'm telling you they feel like you're very healing very nurturing and there's definitely a unique vibe to you original we have the six of pentacles they definitely feel like you're somebody who's generous with the six of pentacles have a give a big heart 
like we have the king of wands again okay this person is definitely passionate about you they're very attracted to you attracted not just to your body but to your mind to your drive the fact that you're optimistic that you see the positivity the positivity and everything okay you're not uh, pessimistic because they're used to pessimistic people we have the queen of pentacles okay you're grounded you're trustworthy like this person knows that they can let their guards down with you they could be vulnerable with you and you're not going to use um their vulnerability against them and this is one thing that they love about you this is why they feel comfortable in your energy they want to protect you this person is uh, they're a fierce protector with the seven of wands they definitely want to like they will never let anybody disrespect you or talk down to you in their presence yeah we have the lovers again yeah this person definitely feels like you're their divine counterpart or their twin flame ace of swords at the bottom of the deck guys i can't make it up the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah guys i can't make it up six of cups uh, this is like soulmate past life lover energy this is how this person feels about you they feel like you are heaven sent to them and we have the high priestess again yeah they feel like you could see right through them like they can't not lie to you they cannot hide things from you that you just know things with the high priestess you're just too in tune they love that about you but they're also afraid of that as well not that they want to lie or hide things but it's just like this is something that you're not used to people that are highly intuitive i feel like you're the first person that they've ever met or encountered that their intuition was always on point especially about them like i really feel like there's certain things that you would say that would spook this person out because it's like how would you know because i never told you you have to be like i'm getting this person tells himself like she has to be or he has to be psychic how do they know how how does he know that or how does she know that okay with the high priestess this is what i'm getting here and like i said this person is always happy in your energy with the three of cups okay so we're going to be using the astro dice, um, the initials and the charmies to get a little bit more information on this person. Okay. So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? My pal number three. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? okay so we have the ninth house this is uh sagittarius's house we have libra and we have pluto okay so this person may have their libra in pluto or in the ninth house okay or they could have sagittarius in their chart So we have O. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to grab it with my nails. O, S, N, W, C, W, G, G, K, T, U. Um, this is D, F, G double d n e o y and n again yeah you got the key to this person's heart we have the heart with a lot and we have love yeah this person's in love with you okay they're in love with you they definitely want to build a family with you with the tree they feel like you guys are from the same soul tribe as well definitely with the anchor they feel like you're solid yeah they feel like you're unique with the unicorn yeah you see the tree like there's like three two trees here this person definitely sees themselves building a legacy with you this is how they feel about you they feel like you're solid that you're grounded individual 
they definitely feel like with the uh, butterfly that you're beautiful that you're transformative you transform this person to for the better and i keep saying that you change this person you made them see the world from a different perspective they were not used to that but they're grateful for you they thank god for you all the time we have the half moon with the wing and the crown they feel like you're heaven sent i feel like this person has prayed for somebody like you they used to wish upon the star you're a dream country for this person they feel like this is was divinely guided or was faded with the feather. They definitely want to have a family with you or like just have like they want to have a child with you. They want to marry you. I'm getting like marriage energy and they definitely feel like you are regal, worthy of praise, respect with the crown. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye!